Dakota is with us in Dallas. Hi, Dakota. How are you? I'm good, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? So I was introduced to your program when I was about 18, and that was seven years ago. Since then, I've I've been working for that entire time and, and got married a couple of years ago. So my wife and I have been saving very aggressively towards our first home, and, and next month we're actually moving out of our apartment and we will pay cash for our first home. Uh, so we're excited about that. It's uh, an $80,000 condo, so it's a starter home, but uh, we're able to completely avoid a mortgage. Way to go. My question, though, is should we borrow approximately $5,000 for uh, renovations, which would not be substantial, mostly just painting and perhaps installing some new flooring as well as um, fixing up one of the showers? Because basically this, this check we're about to write is going to bring us uh, pretty pretty close to the danger level on our checking account. We may only have two or three thousand dollars after that. Mm-hmm. And so, do you have an emergency fund? We do. Uh, at this point, we have approximately thirty five hundred dollars in there, which mm-hmm. is not as uh, strong as I'd like it to be. And one of our goals in the near future is to maybe get it up closer to six or seven thousand. Mm-hmm. Uh, just so that it can be, you know, a three-month supply. Um, mm-hmm. I, I realize this may not be a good idea. Our thought was that we could borrow from that for about a month to make this down payment because we're we're able to save right now about twenty five hundred a month, mm-hmm. so we could replenish it pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Okay, down payment. I thought you said you were paying cash. Uh, excuse me, uh, we are paying cash. I, I was um, using that term incorrectly, but we're paying cash. But again, it's going to leave us with about three thousand dollars or so in your in checking money, in checking, and That's about right. thirty five hundred in your emergency fund. Well, the emergency fund is contained in our checking. Oh, um, oh, so, so you will you will have three thousand dollars to your name. That's right. Okay, yeah. Number one, your emergency fund should not be in checking; it should be set aside separately so that you don't accidentally use it. Okay, sure. that's sidebar. Okay, so we need five thousand dollars. And you can do it at the rate of twenty five hundred a month, right? Yes. Okay. And when were you closing? Uh, approximately December twentieth. Good. Okay. And when is your lease up? Uh, the end of January. Now the arrangement in the contract is that the current owner will lease from us for one month, so that he can get his affairs in order and find somewhere else to live. Oh. Okay, so, so that means during that, during that during that month, be out by January nineteenth. Okay, so during that month, you have twenty five hundred dollars more, do you not? We should. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're only twenty five hundred dollars apart. Right, and there is a chance uh, that we will choose to live with the paint and live with the current carpet, but mm-hmm. uh, we we just haven't quite decided whether or not yeah. to upgrade those things, and we are aware that it would perhaps be easier to do that before we're actually living there. Oh, absolutely. Definitely be easier to do it. That's why I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to figure it out with you. Have you got anything you can sell? Not really. We've got two cars, uh, a 2015 Chevy Cruze and a 2001 Corolla, but those are our Mm -hmm. work vehicles. Sure. Okay. Um, Excuse me, I said 2001 Corolla, 2011. How much are much are you putting into retirement right now? We've been doing three fifty a month, mm-hmm. and our, and we actually have about twenty five thousand currently in our in our IRAs. Okay. That that actually is another matter of discussion currently because we nope. had been planning. I would not to use spend that. Spend our retirement savings for about twenty four months to totally just uh, to save up towards our first home. That was before this uh, opportunity mm-hmm. presented itself mm-hmm. to buy the eighty thousand dollar condo. Mm-hmm. So okay. now we're wondering, should we go so back here, to what we were here's doing what I would and, do. and just keep yeah. saving 350 Yeah, here's what I would do. I, I would shut down everything and try to make the goal, uh, temporarily, try to make the goal of getting in here for cash. Uh-huh. Okay. Here, here's, a, here's what I hear listening to you. An 18-year-old guy, seven years ago, started a plan that is more genius than 98% of Americans. You're paying cash for an $80,000 condo 
at 25 years old. Dude, that makes you such a rock star. And I and, just and can't. Wife, I just can't wife throw. And I collectively, make seventy-five a year. So, I you cannot. Know, we're not, I cannot we're sit here emotionally position. and talk to this rock star guy who's so incredible, and 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 allow him to go into debt. You did it. I mean, so yeah. you just got to do it. You got to find a way. You've always found a way. And so we stop retirement. We delay moving in a month. Uh, instead of moving in in the middle of January, move in in the middle of February. That gives you your 2500 2500 You're there. Or you delay the repair. I don't know. And it's yeah. not going to kill you. It's not a bankruptcy offense. I mean, you're not going to be in the stupid column no matter what you do. But just emotionally, you did it. And I can't, now that you did it, I can't fathom you going into debt. I can't even yeah. digest that emotionally. You're such a rock right. star. You're such a stud. And now you're going to throw a, a baby Ruth in the pool. No, man. Don't do it. You know? Don't do right. it. You know, you're, you yeah. th- you made it this close. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it. You can do this, yeah, man. Well, you've convinced me. I just, I just don't know how exactly, but you're within a gnat's breath. I mean, you're right there. You're right there. And so, I mean, you, you get 2,500 of the repairs done, and you move in. And you deal with the other 2,500 after you move in. Or you delay moving in a month. Or something else happens. Or I don't know. But you're right there. Don't give up now. You've done something nobody does. You understand that? Nobody yeah. pays yeah. cash for and, their first really house at 25 years old. many friends who can relate to our choices. I mean, I think some people are under the impression that we're living on $10 an hour uh, because we live humbly yeah. and, and they perhaps assume that we don't and have And who cares what all these broke groceries. people who cares what all these broke people think? You're getting ready to pay cash for your first house at 25 years old! That makes you a stud! Touchdown! Now, don't go for two and lose the game! Touchdown! You won! You're too close, man. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Absolutely amazing. The rest of you, stop your whining after that call. Just stop your whining.